In the previous video we created the navigation for our website and now we will make our pages work with templates. Now let's stop for a moment and consider the content we'll have in our website. We'll need different kinds of templates, won't we? I mean, the homepage will display the latest news and we'll have a news archive which will do something similar and then there's pages that will just display a page's title and page's content. So let's make provisions for that. Create a new migration file and let's call it 006 add template to pages. Now this will be a new migration class. Now we'll set a field called template and that will be a varchar with a constraint of 25. Let's call dbforge add column and add that field to the pages table. In the down method we'll just drop the column template from the pages table. Now I've run the migration and behold the column has indeed been added to the table. Next we need to make provisions to actually use that new column. First we'll open up the page model. Add a rules key for the new column we just created and we'll just trim, require and XSS clean it. Then in the get new method we'll add this column as well and set the default value to page. Next we need to open up the admin page controller and go into the edit method. We'll just add the field to the array from post call so it will actually be saved. Finally let's add this field to the form in the admin page edit view. Duplicate the parent row and set the label for our template drop down. It will be called template of course and the options array will contain a key and value pair for page, news archive and home page. What that will do is give us a drop down list with templates to choose from. And then we'll just replace the parent ID values with template. And I think that should do the trick but let's check. We'll edit the home page and set the template to home page. Now let's save it and check in PHP My Admin if that template has indeed been set. And yes, it has. So I'll just set the proper templates for the other pages. Let's start with the contact page and that will just have a template of page and the about page will also have a template of page. Now we'll just create a news archive page. We'll give it a title and we'll give it a slug. And then we'll just add a note to ourselves that this page will automatically display the news archive. Save it and we have all pages set up. All we need to do is order them around, like so. And now when we visit the home page you can see that we have the proper pages in our navigation. Now before we start handling these templates in our page controller let's first add some routing because when we click a page we're still getting a 404 error, see? So go to the config folder and open up routes.php. We'll scroll down to the bottom and add a routing key that will have a value of any, meaning that we'll target anything other than the home page. And let's just route this to our page controller. It will target the index method and then add the URI after that as a variable. Now let's see if that changes anything. And it looks like it does. See, we can click any page in the navigation. Now let's dump the first segment. We use the URI segment method for that and we'll pass in one to indicate that we're looking for the first slug. Now if we go back to the browser we see what is in the first segment and you probably guess it already. It's the slug and we can use it to fetch the page from the database. So let's go back to the page controller one more time. Now we'll create a variable called this data page and we'll set it to the proper page. Now we'll use the page models get by method to fetch the proper page. Specifically, we'll search for a page where the slug matches the first segment. Now let's dump that variable to the screen and see what it returns. Now let's also dump the query that fetches the page, like so. Now as you can see for this slug here we are presented with a page called news archive. So far so good. The about slug seems to return the proper page as well and the same goes for the contact page. But when we try to fetch the home page we get into trouble and let's have a look why. See we are fetching all pages and this is because we're matching the slug against a numeric zero. Now the zero is there because if a slug is empty CodeIgniter returns false and false equals a numeric zero. So to avoid errors let's cast the slug value as a string. So with that having been fixed let's move on. Let's just remove those dumps and add a comment. 
Also, we'll add true as a second parameter to the getBy method, so it will return an object rather than an array of objects. Also, let's assume we have a page returned properly, but then, if we don't, let's throw a 404 error and let's add the current URL so it will be logged properly. Of course, we need to open up our config file first and set the logging threshold to 1 to log errors. Now let's try and load a non-existing page. And indeed, it does show up in our log file. Well, that's all for templates. We've added templates to our pages and made sure we have access to the page data in every page. So, we can determine which template to show for that page as well. Now, in the next video, we'll be coding the home page. I'll see you then.